everyone. Welcome to another episode of Downtown Music. Now, you guys already know how I feel about Toronto. And that's my home city. That's where we rep for. So today we have no other than everything O'Shawn in the building. What's up, King? Oh, what's up, Queen? Thank you for having me. Appreciate and we also have his producer, one of his producers in the building. Introduce yourself, King. Uh, I go by the name of Express, a.k.a. DJ XP. And I am the producer, DJ, and all of that. All right, so <laughs> we're waiting. And he's my brother. You might as well put that out there. He's my brother, too. So You know what? I was seeing a similarity in right. the look, and I was like, I don't want to be that person to be like, oh, they both got hair and a beard, so they're really, you know? So I was like, all right, all right that's cool. Right. No, no, no. That's, my, that's bro, that's bro, bro, for real, for real. Yeah. So then let's jump right in. How is that creating music or having someone in your family to share the fact or share your love of music with? Um. Well, it makes it super easy, you know what I mean? Um, it, it keeps me on track as well, knowing that he, my brother, like we have the same goals, you know what I mean? We have the same goals, we have the same ambitions, we have the same destination of where we wanna go and we kind of hold each other accountable all the time. Um, I actually don't even, so, I'm so used to it now. I, I, I feel for some artists who are by themselves a lot of the time, you know, they go to the studio, for example, they meet with their producer, the engineer, they have a good session, they go home, and when they're by themselves again with their thoughts and trying to figure out what to do, what's going on. But with me and him, we may go to our engineer, we have another engineer, um, his name is 5P, shout out yeah. 5. We'll go over there, we'll do a mix mastering session, discuss everything we can about music, but then we go in the car we leave him, we go in the car. Now me and my brother are talking about it all the way home. And then we get home and then we're talking about it here. And it's like music is literally nonstop, 24, 7, 365. Even if we're not doing something so um, immediate, right. the thought and the ideas that just randomly happen during dinner or during getting ready to go out to an event when, you know, when the world was really, really open. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, that the, I we're, we're never off track because of that. You know what I mean? So, so I'm thinking, right, because you say your eyes goals are the same. So what is, I guess, what is the goal between you two? Because for me, producer would have a different goal than the artist. Yeah, that's, that's true. I think what I mean, what I mean by goals is that we both want to be super successful in the lane that we that we individually, individually take. Um, he's he's a producer slash artist, and I'm more of an artist slash producer. So we don't even really cross in each other's lanes as much either. Like we literally complement each other. It's like Kobe Shaq. You know what I mean? Right. It's you know you drive the you 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 take the you take the uh, the the uh, the paint, and I'll shoot from the outside. So we complement each other that way. We both want to be successful for our parents for our family. You know what I mean? Like, if he fails, I fail. If I'm, if I'm successful, we're breaking those generational curses. That, exactly. That's so, it. yeah. so it's um. So of course he has his own like personal goals with producing, producing for certain people, certain artists, and mm -hmm. getting his and you know and developing the sound more and cross genre and whatever the case may be. But, and that's it right there. That's yeah. it right there. Because I definitely, I was like, this should be your answer, but I'm just asking for the people. Yeah, 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 for sure. But definitely that producer artist relationship and like sync, like when you're able to sync, it's such a beautiful experience. Look, yeah. look at 40 and Drake, you know what I mean? When yeah. you're able to be of one mind, but still different, um, a corny example, Elton John and Bernie, like some of some of their biggest timeless records, you have someone there that is like, shares that love, everything you're talking about on the way leaving the studio. And it doesn't seem pressing or feel pressing because you guys both want the same things. You wanna be huge in your lane, he wants to be huge in your lane. So as a producer, I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, he's gonna try and perfect your sound as you were mentioning as much as possible. And he wouldn't play around with that because he's recorded with you enough, been in the process enough to be like, this yeah. is this is O'Shawn's sound. Right. You know what I mean? No matter where you hear Drake's songs, 40 still has to come and yeah. sprinkle the sauce on it to get that sound that we know. So yeah, low key, low key, no no artist that has become successful in any time period has been able to do it without 
like their go-to producer or engineer. Like even someone yes. like Jay-Z, for example, he's lasted because he's he was able to forge relationships with producers for extended periods of time. Like there's a yes. version of Jay-Z just with Swiss Beats. There's a version yes. of Jay-Z just with Timbaland. Yeah. There's a version of Jay-Z just with Kanye. There's a yes. version just with Just Blaze. And yes. every time he does that, it like gives him another extension of yes. his of his career, you know what I mean? So exactly. like even with Michael Jackson with the Quincy Jones, yeah, like, yeah. there's there's always they have that person that helps them see what you know what their vision exactly. might not allow them to see. You know what I mean? Like even not currently like Billie Eilish and her brother. That's it's what like, I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. The same type of deal where they're just yeah. in the bedroom making the music, you know, coming up with the concept before anybody on the outside even hears it. They you know inspire I mean? me too. I was gonna yeah. say Billie and I'm to be her. honest, like just yeah. the amount of artists and people in that industry that I've been able to speak with when I really look at it in the long term and all the examples you're giving as well like that is a key part to the formula of becoming that successful billboard charting artist once you solidify and everyone on the team understands overstands their position everyone's able to focus and just do the best of what they do because you trust him he trusts you like and that's very important before you even get to, as you're seeing the outer things and the yeah, yeah. agents and the publicists and the this and the that, like you need that person that you can bounce that off with because by yourself, like no. there are some examples I can give, but to be honest in every story, there's always been that one person that maybe they're not always at the forefront that people would know, but mm-hmm. they were a part of that to build up to what people see today. So yeah. thank you guys for speaking on that. Um, everything O'Shawn. Yes. What inspired that name? <laughs> <laughs> everything, you know, to be honest, that that O'Shawn. A little narcissistic. <laughs> Let me tell you. No, I didn't I didn't mean it. I didn't I never I'm bothering you. <laughs> but, uh, but it's interesting you say that. But I actually got the name O'Shawn as a nickname from high school, actually. Okay. Uh, I got I got O'Shawn probably in a, in a, in grade nine. So it's my first year of high school. Um, I used to hang out with a lot of the freshy, freshy man them. So they were, they were, they were, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I was hanging out with these guys a lot and everyone had their own nickname. Actually back then I used to have this, my, my, my old name back in the day was. <laughs> let us know, let us know. Everyone just be truthful with the people. <laughs> you know, so back in the day, so back in the day, my when I was growing up, my my nickname was actually Black Ice. That was that was my that that's was my bad. Favorite. That's not horrible. That's my, that's my first rap name. I just don't know how it came up, but <laughs> but it came but it came yeah. up, and I was black. I was Black Ice. So everyone knew me as Black Ice. Uh, but the Freshy man them didn't want to call me Black Ice, so uh, they called me O'Shawn. Really, it's it's in Pato, it's like O'Shawn because okay. I it's the waves of the water on my okay. head. So I had waves a lot back in the day. Gotcha. And before I started growing out my hair. So gotcha. they would always like tease me with, with, you know, the fact that I had these waves and I took years to get the my hair cut at the barber because they were so specific about how they, you know, make sure that the wave is perfect. So they yeah. call me Oshan, Oshan, Oshan. So it was Black Ice and then and then I switched over to Oshan. And uh, as we started to develop the sound later on, way, way later on, the, uh, the term everything, we, we combined it with Oshawn just because I, musically growing up and socially, I associated myself with so many different kinds of people, so many mm. different kinds of sounds. It's like, mm. I liked so many different things and I like to incorporate either things that I learn, things that I see, things that I enjoy, it doesn't matter if it's food, whatever the case may be. It's like, yo, I just like everything. So it's yeah. like, hey, we, so branding wise, we just said, yo, why don't we put everything with O'Shawn, it's like, yo, everything O'Shawn. He had, back in high school, I hang out with the skaters, I hang out with the freshies, I hang out with the actors, I hang mm-hmm. out with the ball players. It was, it was just, I was just all over the place, really. Yeah. So that that came later on, and then, you know, we just decided to roll with it. It sounded kind of nice, and what can I, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's similar to like downtown world. You know, it does stand for don't waste no time with negativity, but the world just kind of like as well with the logo it kind of just brought everything full circle i'm like all right well it is downtown's world so whatever you want related to this this is where you're going to find it um so now we're getting into the newest track am i pronouncing it correct woge 
Yes, yeah. Woj, Woj. Okay. Um, you went in. You went in. Am I allowed to? Am I allowed to give the people a little sample? Or in the since you're in the studio, did you wanna? Because I just everything in the studio just sounds so much more magical. Like I, I, no, no, you got it good. You got it a little I, bit. I heard, it sounded yeah, good. Yeah. It sounded good over there. So yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. When the, when the engineer or the or the D, listen, if I had a job that I really wanted to do, I would have been a DJ. So right, right. like hey. like for real, for real, like. For real, for real. So when I get the stamp of approval from the engineer, the sound guy, I'm like, all right, cool. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> all right. So everyone, this, I'm just going to give it a little tease because you need to stream and support this king. But um, everything O'Shawn, Woj, he went there. I just want to give you guys a little sample of what's happening in here. So let's go. Uh, I'm in the back with the pros. Uh. Shorty got ass in the shows. Ay, I know the game how it goes. Ay, I know the game like I'm ghost. Ay, I'm in the back with the pros. Yeah. Shorty got ass in the shows. Yeah. I know the game how it goes. Yeah. I know the game like I'm ghost. Yeah. I'm in the back with the pros. Ay, shorty got ass in the shows. They're not getting no more. They're not getting no more. <laughs> A whole set of everything on Sean. They're not ready. And you do have, speak to that because as someone, um, people might, okay, people might think it's weird, but people journal whatever. To be honest, when I'm really stressed out, I'll run a DJ set. And going through your music is very compatible with a lot of things. To be honest, you have organically your own set that you can really vibe out as a DJ that's it's helpful because if you're playing in the clubs or whatever, you need that or else Correct. your music's not getting pushed, straight. So was that something that was a thought for you guys? Did you think yeah. about it? Um, yeah, I think it's because of me, because I'm a DJ. So I'm That's always you know, like <laughs> in tune with what works and when it works. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. so, so subconsciously, I just think of that in the back of my head, like what, like this song, at what point in the set or what type of set would I play this on and try to just get into as many vibe sets. Cause as a DJ, there's just so many, you know, if you have like a Serato program, you have all these different folders of different yeah. um, types of vibes that you'll go into. Yeah. So you can marry that in an artist thing that, that will never pigeonhole you in where you can play or how you can play, what kind of vibes that you can, you know, be a part of. So def definitely, that's why the DJing is always important. I always yes. run some of the songs that were not even finished at some of the sets just to see how it plays and yeah. it, you know when it when it when I get a good reaction I say okay and people are like hey, what song is I'm like oh, don't even work now it's just no, it's just a mistake don't worry about it and, <laughs> you know because then I know okay we're in the right direction and then Shin, we yeah records and then make them sound you know dope so it's definitely a DJ thing no for sure and I was speaking on the importance of that with someone the other day because I'm very much for music in the culture, something I study seriously. And when you're looking at the things that, how things are now, people's attention spans are so short, so yeah. short. So literally like framing a song, I can only imagine what you guys would have to go through because you're thinking of fitting things into 15 second clips, 13, 30 oh, second yeah. clips. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Social media friendly before it even, you know, and do you feel like that hinders your creative process or like helps or challenges you to be better in that sense? Hmm. It's both. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it is both. It yeah. is a hindrance and a blessing because, sure. depending on how you want to look at it. Because mm. every, every song, you know, great songs that you have cannot be boiled down to a 15 second take, right? Mm -hmm. But then you ask yourself, if I had to, and right? if this is the only time someone's going to hear me, can I do something that is going to be enough to catch them and, and make yeah. them say, okay, this is something dope. So I think it really comes down to what song it is. Yeah. And if you really want to, to do that to the music, some people do look at it as like, I don't want to call it selling out, but yeah, I guess you can kind it's of. It's not it. though. No, it's it, not. It, no, especially if you don't, especially because selling out starts with you. Do you look at it as selling out? If you don't, then it really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks because you can always convince people through how you treat the music and how you present yourself to be honest and as well like you know shout out to drake obviously artist of the decade yeah. but so. watching an interview with him and he was speaking on or someone was asking him basically about his writing and the way yeah. he formulates tracks and right. you know how are you able to say so much in like so little words right, right? but 
I feel like that's a part of the process of really taking the time. And I can say, I like the day, or I can say day nice. And (laughs) pretty much based on the way I enunciate it on a beat, it could hit and slap so much harder, right? Yeah, yeah. So what is your writing process like, Oshan? Everything Oshan, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, no, it is still Oshan. That's the money. People call me Oshan. That's still, that's still I like to like call the full artist name. I'm not like, I don't know you. <laughs> like, you don't right. know me. We're, we're, we're getting to know each other, but you could call me Oshan. You know, we, Thank you. We, we, we cool down. We cool down. Thank um, you. <laughs> my writing process is, is it's fucking, it's really all over the place, to be honest with you. Um, unorthodox, huh? It's unorthodox. I'm a very emotional writer, so... I write from uh, an emotional standpoint, whether it's emotions because I'm excited about the production or I'm emotional because of day. I'm like, do you mean the height? Like when something happens right away, you're just like pen and paper? Pen and, right away. Let, let me tell you, so I'll, like, some, of the, some of the worst times ideas come to me is, is when I'm driving. You know, yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, I, that's so dangerous. I know, but it's but like there's I, ways around it. I well, that's why I I started to use, especially lately. I started using voice notes while I'm driving. Yeah, that's um, right. That, that works. I, many times, I've literally had to pull over. Um, I take I take wow. the I, I take my phone into the shower because that's another. Yeah, the bathroom's a, a great thinking spot. Where ideas, where ideas come in. Working out, is it, it comes to me as well. I got to stop my work. Up. There's just a lot of just random... Just through you living your life. Through living my life that I literally have to stop myself. Or like, run, if I'm even in a meeting or at a at, a, at work work, when, if, when I have to work, I literally have to like run away and hide into... <laughs> Um, some I know those ones. I know those ones. Yo, I have to get this down. I wake up in the middle of the night. I mean, it's just, well, sometimes I don't even sleep at night. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just things that happen that way. That uh, you know, and I love playing with flows. I love playing with with uh, beat patterns. XP also is great at helping me, um, especially with some of the unorthodox way that he makes some of these beats. Uh, yeah to get me to go into He's not lazy in there. Yeah. And I appreciate the layers. I hear it, King. I appreciate it. A hundred percent. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much that on that. That's so, okay. So, I'd be so pissed if I was a woman um, dating you and we're arguing and right away you're just like, hold hold on a second. I'm like, (laughs) Nika. I'm not going to lie. That's that's that, happened that, that's happened many times and the funny thing is sometimes they think that you're just doing it for show like i'm no like i'm texting somebody else <laughs> it's like they think yo you're always in your phone it's like yo i'm actually writing like sometimes yeah. i'm actually writing i'm not texting another woman or yeah because you know, sometimes i'll be you know three four in the morning and they think i'm it must it must it's gotta be talking to some no i'm really writing like I'm really you know what that comes with uh that comes with mature maturity because like for example um in my position i'm majority of the time on la time so yeah. at 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 nine o'clock is really sometimes when my day starts because people in LA are just coming home from work at yep. six and stuff like that. So when you're, when you're um, have people on your team that are understanding of like how unorthodox this business can be or yep. like that, yeah, shit, real important meetings can happen at 11 o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. You yep. have to be glued to your phone. I oh God, it. like certain sound notifications. I'm like, gotta get my phone. Like you never know what it could be. I know, hundred <laughs> percent. It is, uh, and it's hard to, it's hard to explain it to some, to, to, you know, individuals, like you say, that may not be either in tune, mature enough, or maybe understand how serious I take this. And um, that part, and, and and the funny and now the the good and bad thing for me is that it is draining to have to like try to explain that all the time to somebody who I may be intimate with, but then at yeah. the same time, I'm finding so much material from the fact that they have a problem. Problem with understanding. <laughs> hey, it like, works. Yo, works. Yo, I know. So I'm, like, I'm sorry. I got to take that line that you said to me yesterday about the fact that you know what i mean i just i got it i'm i know you're arguing with me but my creative juice is like it's flowing like this is gonna be good give me that give me that, <laughs> give me that. 
you know what I mean so and that is a reality as well because being an artist especially these days is a huge part of being an entrepreneur and oh it's oh a lot of sacrifice like oh definitely running a media network I definitely pay I do not pay two thousand dollars for a phone that I just text and make calls on so best believe what you see my on my phone is not always what you think right yeah, no, and you, no, no. it's so important to have people that respect what you have going on on your on your ladder to success you know yeah. a lot of the times people I can see you're not really a person that like boasts a lot about what you do or your accomplishments and things of that nature so it could be easy for someone to not take your craft as seriously and be like oh you're not but like nah ma we're 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 shooting for a billboard this ain't no local you're Toronto you're preaching. You're preaching. <laughs> local you're Toronto triggered. thing you're triggering me, you're triggering me. <laughs> I'm sorry I hope it gives you content for later <laughs> <laughs> you talking truth only shit that's wild yeah that's true yeah. So being from Toronto, how is how is that um, melting pot of the music world in your experience? Um, it's a, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, first of all, I mean, right off the bat, before we even get out into the city, my 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 uh, background is Nigerian and Jamaican. Right. My mom's okay. Jamaican, my Jamaican. My dad is Nigerian. So already I'm, I'm we're bo both of us. Obviously, we're born into culture. We're born. Greatness. Into yeah. different different style stylist uh styles of music genres and then you mix that in from being from toronto and hip-hop uh r&b trap soul whatever you want to you know uh categorize it at and then you now we starting to dabble into Afrobeat. now you now we're you, you know we keep the the jamaican lingos and 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 references mixed into this into this music but it's already we're already mixed before we even step outside okay. so um I love I love the Toronto multiculturalism of, of the you know of the city of the of the, the whole GTA. You find um, any genre of artists in the city. It, exactly, it's it's gonna we're gonna be influenced by it. I think that's what makes Toronto music sound so different from the rest of the world, um, yes. and why we're leading in especially at, especially in production out there. Yeah, uh, and of course the 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 coldness of the city. The fact that everywhere is kind of far away from each other, all of that plays plays a role in how we create and how music sounds. Yes. Also, um, yeah. What about you, uh, producer man? Um, yeah, it's def definitely the fact that there's so many cultures around it, and because we're not necessarily tied to any coasts, especially when it comes to like American music, it means that we can yeah. dabble into you know, the West Coast sound, the, the, the East Coast, and then, because for a long time, Toronto didn't have their own sound, really, until, I guess, you could say, like, the Drake and 40 thing kind of created. I feel like we did, but people didn't know no, how yeah. to label it, because I feel like, yeah. like you were saying, O'Shawn, it the sound was very dark. Yeah. Like, everyone's music, hot, cool. Like, everyone's yeah. music is that, right. you know, but it is a cool place. Yeah. Cool city, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Summer's yeah. two months. I mean, for, like, what, two and <laughs> not months. even in that sense, but just like while I love Toronto, it's a cool place. Like you can screw, sur screw you can survive out. here. You, I feel like you can survive right, right, anywhere. Right, right. That's what they say. Yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And um, seeing seeing more and more how um, Toronto people are moving throughout the industry, right. I'm loving to see how we're interacting with the world um how they receive us yeah. example just because it's at the top of my head but like press and quality rare stuff and i look at that and i'm like while i love it i'm like she ain't ready for these toronto niggas they she don't, <laughs> she don't know what's about to happen like you know so it's it's great to see how the world now incorporates us into that yeah. industry and how they how we basically toronto it up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, back back in the day, uh, a lot of Toronto, a lot. I mean, you should, I, and you probably remember some of this. Like back in the day, for example, like around like Caravana times, um, when all these Americans would come over. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of Canadian, a lot of Toronto mans would pretend or try to act like they was American. Try to have yep, the states accent, <laughs> New York accent oh, all the time, yeah. just to <laughs> grab some baddies. You know what I mean? And and now, like 
the, it's cool to, to sound like us. It's cool to sound like ourselves. Yeah, yeah. There, I, I think I, uh, uh, Cora, she, she posted, I think she did a, she did a TikTok about like, to Fressa about how Canadian guys sound. I don't know if you And I didn't even like, realize we had like our yeah. own. Yeah, like what Toyota, what is it? Like Toyota and all these different, <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's wild. Like they really think we really sound. Different. Really different, like yep. extremely different. But it is yeah. how we sound But it is. Because we are us and they're them and they can see what yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. see. So. It's true. <laughs> crazy it's become a brand like it's become a it's brand. a it's a thing right like drake has pushed a lot of that that those that you know the lingos and certain things that we've all been saying um and <laughs> like sometimes i remember a couple years ago like i would talk to different american producers some artists just trying to connect and i'd always be like they'll hit me up like what's up i'd be like yo what are you saying and honest to god nine times out of ten they're like what do you mean what are you saying right <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh shit, yeah, you guys don't talk like that over there. <laughs> like, what you saying just means like, what's going on? What's going but on? You know what? To everyone out there watching, and to you guys as well, just keep being Toronto as keep fuck. Like, That's right. everyone That's that right. I've been dealing with, like, at first, and I'm coming in thinking, oh, you know, gotta assimilate to what they have going on. Like, nah, I speak my pato when I feel it. I speak right. regular, and right. they love it, and they will adapt. So, right. key. Um, <laughs> So let's get into it no further. Um, I want to I want to know your top five. Top five of what? Top five. Top five what? Top five R and B artists. Top five R and B artists like of all time or current? How do you want to break it up? You know I'll do I'll do of all time. I want to see where your head's at. All time. Of, of all time. Stress. <laughs> Stress, stress. <laughs> all time, I'll say, I'll say, Shade. Uh, all time, I'll say. Oh Jesus, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say Usher. I'll say Usher. I say yeah. I say Usher. I'll say Shade. I'll say. But all time just means my preference, right? Fuck. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in a specific yeah. order. I won't put that pressure on you. Just I say Shade, Usher, I'll say Erica Badu. I'll say um oh man, this is this is this is <laughs> rocking my world of right? all time. Right? It's 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 a tough one. This is yeah. crazy. Um I'll say brandy. Um yeah, brandy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love Brandy. She's one of she's definitely oh, she's top top that, songs that's, choice. That's that's she's my favorite vocalist. To be yeah, honest. every favorite singer has been like that girl right there. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I'll so that was that is that three? So right? one more. So you got um Sade, you had Usher, you yeah. had um Erica Badu, yeah. um Brandy. said Brandy. One more. And I'll say, and we said R and B, and I will go with oh, Mary J. Blige. Okay, I don't mind that list. Yeah, I'll, I don't I'll, mind I'll, it. Yeah, I'll say that tomorrow. You ask me, I might, I might remove some different people, but I'm also, I'm also picking people that I've kind of listened to in the last like two weeks. What so your energy is have, now. I yeah. Have, have recency bias right at this moment. Except no. Shot is always Shot and Brandy is always on my on my list. Those yeah. three are interchangeable, but yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Shot top tier. Um now top five hip hop artists. Hovey. Hovey, baby. Um, I say a hove. I say um is groups are groups allowed in this? I don't know. It's hip hop, why not? <laughs> okay, so I'll say Hove, I'll say Outcast. I'll say I gotta say Drake. I'm gonna put Drake in there. Top five. Uh, I put Drake. <laughs> that's I gotta put that's home. Gotta. We home can't home. do that. Artist of the yeah, decade. Exactly. Artist of the decade, home team. So I'll put Drizzy, Hove, Outcast. Um, I'll put Nas. Oh shit. Yeah, put Nas. So it's one more note. I gotta put Ye. 
I respect that. I gotta put you. That's like really hard though, because oh my god, because everyone like I would want. Biggie. Well, it's your it's your five, right? So my, I would say those are my five right now. And that's okay. Subject to change. We'll put a little asterisk. Subject, um, <laughs> subject to change. Ross would be there. Like Ross is an honorable mention for me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. But those I'll put those five, yeah. Um, XP, I'm curious to know what's your top five hip hop? Uh hip hop. Okay. Um hip hop, hip hop. I'm I'm gonna put Outcast in there. I'ma put I'm also going to put Jay-Z because I think he's like the best. He's the GOAT ever. Me personally. Um, I would then put... Um, Here's where the list difference. The, the, the difference. I'm going to say... There's artists on the wall, by the way. I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. Artists. No. Do you think? There's artists all over the studio. Inspiration all around. I feel it. Um, I'm going to throw a wrench in there. I want to say... Who? Ludacris. Oh. <laughs> Ludacris. Yeah, that's yeah. that is one of your faces. Um, that number one spot track, like, right? Yeah, that was a heavy. That was heavy. Yeah. Like a pit oh, in wait, wait, veins, like poison ivy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, the the bars on that, I was like, yeah, yeah, Luda, I know the popular Luda. songs from Luda, but like, yeah, y'all yeah. niggas are playing. Y'all, y'all are playing with Luda right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came out and be like, you know, you can't play with him. Like, he's too, like, he's, he's, he's nice. He's, um, he's you guys nice. bump number one spot in the studio today and see no, if that yeah, doesn't yeah, have yeah, to be yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, for what? For sure. I rock the, I rock the whole building. Um, for real. So, that, 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 I, how, much, how much should I say? I got three. three. You got two more. You got two, I got two more. Okay. The next two, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Ross on there. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Rick Ross on there. I respect um, it. He's in my top ten, so. And he, that's what I'm saying. He's my top ten too. 100%. Period. Yeah. And um, you go one more. One more. I'm gonna say. I, I feel like I gotta put, I gotta put Kanye in there. I, I gotta, I gotta put Kanye in there because he's. Just what he's done from a producer. He changed the pop sound. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Big influence of mine. Now. Yeah, knocking for that. So I'll ask you one more XP because, um, as I said, I am a bit of a nerd with it. So, top five producers. Okay, Ooh, that's his. That's his bag. Go so ahead. I'm gonna put Neptunes together because without duh, that and for and for Ooh, like I just duh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Then I'm going to say obviously Timbaland. Okay. Just what he did with R and B, what he did with the drums, what he did with all that is just too much. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna, I gotta bring Kanye again. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. what he did for production is just yeah. too much. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also gonna say, organized noise because of what they did with Outkast. Like that was just too much. Like that whole Atlanta sound and style. Like I just yes, because yes. it was definitely fresh to the ears. There's nothing like we heard before, for real. And that's what I mean. Like, it's just going, even, like, if you play them now, it doesn't, nothing sounds out of date. Like, you can't say, oh, when this was made, particularly. That's true. Similar of- to, um, like, Will I Am, some of their music, like, it, Neptune, shit like that, that we love. It was, like, unorthodox, but yes, exactly. it opens up another part of, your, gets another part of your brain tingling, like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> exactly. And, okay, so that's what, is that, is that four? That's four. That's four. Yeah, one more. One more. Now, okay, you know what? <laughs> Not including I'm, yourself, hey. Yeah. Right, no, 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 I know for sure, for sure. I'm gonna say a controversial, no, it's not controversial. I'm gonna say Diddy. I'm gonna say Puff Daddy. No, I respect that. One thousand. He just did, he just did too much, he did too yeah. much. Niggas are playing with him, but when yeah. you watch old footage of like, he would go back and be like, no, sing it like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. this, he's holding your belly there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he taught, them niggas how to come out on stage and create yeah. that heart like no nah, i'll give it i i respect that so, i respect yeah. that you want your producer up in the video yeah yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I really do. yeah. it can be in mine yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 and he's styling on them too come on man yeah. Shit. Shit. but you know what he's a that that is perfectionist like i'm guilty of those things as well like yeah where it's just, it's not that, I'm not saying you can't do it, but I just see something, I can't do it like you, but I know how you're supposed to do it. So just mm-hmm. rock with me till we get there. 
Um, so I want to ask you, Oshan, what do you see for yourself moving forward musically? I know I'm putting Billboard out there. I'm putting a lot on you, but what do you see for yourself? Oh, no, that's 100%. I see that too. I put that on. I put that on. I put that on me. I, 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 I put uh, uh, being able to tour the exactly. world. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to, I want, I want, I need the music to take me around the world. Right. To physically go and touch uh, places I never thought I could, uh, see faces I never thought I would. Um, so I want to do that. I want to, I want to travel, tour. We're talking billboards. We're talking just expand the brand, uh, the merch line to get to a level where it's, you know, it's, it's just as important as the music just because of what we stand for creative we're all about the creative artists we're all about the the you know expressing your <laughs> expressing yourself um <laughs> however you see fit and just being super super creative um i want to be able to also mentor and help other artists get to a place where where they want to go uh especially i always say i want to open doors for people because they didn't open doors for me so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not those, because a, a lot of people's mentality is if I get to where I need to go, uh, I'm not going to share the sauce or share the secrets with anybody. You figure it out. But if I knock down these doors, which I kind of slowly am doing, I'm already like helping other people under yeah. me get, you know, see, so they don't make the same mistakes as we did or take as long uh, of those roads as, because that's, I think that's what we should do. Um, Instead of you know keeping everybody this crab in the crab in the bucket mentality that we have out here, yeah. uh, it's still going on even though the, the talent is raised is rising and and there's there's so many different artists that are amazing but we still have a lot of that mentality we don't have a lot of media uh, outlets still like yours for example that are really highlighting artists uh, from the, from your independent artists oh that's okay um, and. Uh, you know, I want to be financially free, financially, like, I want to take care of my family, you know what I mean? My yes. parents, you know what I mean? I, I, I owe them, you know, I owe them a lot for allowing us to, you know, when you, when you, when you come up in a household of, uh, that's, you know, very Christian based, you know, very, uh, you know, traditional, like my, my dad was, you know, Nigerian and, and, you know, it took a while for them to kind of like let go and let us like realize that we were really serious. I, I understand that people, uh, kids growing like people just want to do. We always say this: people want. It's that decolonization. Like I talk yeah. about it a lot on the other show. It's not that they don't love us or whatever, but they still are products of that slavery mentality. To be honest, we're kind of the last generation of that. So this yeah. this generation is really pivotal because we can help that next one to just bridge yeah. that exactly <laughs> yeah exactly one so, thousand so uh yeah so we the, the fact that they allowed us to eventually you know open up we 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 owe them that too um what else man Beautiful. I, I want, no, yeah I, want, I need i need them billboards man i need i need all that I need well all you that. could do that now oh, we can talk off here we could do we could get all that all that that you missed we can get all that yeah we do we can get all that but i'm sense. talking about I want to be at home eating my chips, being fat as shit as I usually am. And <laughs> I see O'Shawn, you know, right there at the grab. I'm like, oh, sh oh shit. <laughs> oh, manifestation, Kay. Let's go. Go. Oh, let's go. Let's okay. go. Okay. Right? Um, I really enjoy speaking with people. And I can tell when I'm speaking with people that are super locked in. And I appreciate it as someone that is also super locked in. And that's what I want to see coming from Toronto. So it's not no slight or shade to anyone else, but this is how serious you need to be. Like two brothers together, and I'm sure you guys have other businesses and things that you have to yep. do to feed your passion that you're doing now, but you understand the value as opposed to like, of course everyone wants money right now, but you understand the value of what you're doing. Like before you go on tour, you're you're gonna have to have a certain amount of tracks ready to go to push when you go. Um, yeah. I remember when I spoke with Vito the singer. Congratulations to you, King. I think you just went like platinum. But you know when we interviewed, you got it was just a track on his album. It was just one of the tracks. It wasn't even the single that 
he was trying to push. And ironically, because as I said, I, I'll go through a project and listen for myself. I'll be like, but I really like, and that was one of my top tracks. And it's like, now, whether I turn on the radio, I'm seeing th- the things on TikTok, I'm seeing everywhere. I can't get away from, you got it. And I'm just like, now he's on tour, pushing the track physically. And I'm just like, I get that I respect that because you could have done it the other way, but this music industry is so yeah, especially today. finicky with time. Yeah, timing yeah. is so so important. So important. The market, the market will decide what they gravitate towards. Like it's never gonna. You can put money behind something. You can put intention behind it, but the people are gonna mess with what they mess with, and yes. it's also interesting. It always surprises us what ends up connecting more with people so I'm not I'm not even surprised you just have to be open to anything and open to go any direction that the p- people in the music kind of take you in and just keep making music that's yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah. It. you can never plan over plan because plans will always be broken the market will always go in a split you know direction that you're like oh that's what that's what y'all on you know doesn't matter when you release the record either it can it, it doesn't can years from now it can bust three like it doesn't like it's, it's that's what I'm saying that track like by the time I started hearing it on radio like that, I want to say it was about two years Remove. out promoting. So, um, oh, no, it's beautiful. The streaming service, a streaming world now, right? With mu- with music. That's why I, like, when we started really started pumping out records now, we're like, yo, it don't matter if it don't hit the way we want it to hit right now. We're building the catalog. Exactly. The catalog right now. We're exactly. Building. And even, like, when we put out any of these new records now, people slowly go back to right. what we did two years ago and that's how it works Russ that's Russ how, spoke about that um exactly. plenty of times but that formula of just yeah, yeah that formula of just all right like I noticed I put out 11 tracks but people only listen to maybe the first two so instead on SoundCloud I'm just but it's all like I can definitely go off about that so yeah, all Russ, the time we, we 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 uh we we listen to a lot of uh Russ I uh Russ uh, yeah his interviews are very fruitful yeah. um and I say fruitful because here at downtown, we say eat fruit and mind your business. Okay. So, <laughs> fruit and mind your yes. business. So fruit is great for the skin, all the things, for the men, for the women, all the things. And as I, well as fruit I, being I, knowledge, spiritual, and think, things that can really help us to elevate. So another segment um, is fairly new, but being from Toronto, I don't fully have to explain this to you, but there used to be the show... Um, <laughs> Toronto, why is it slipping me now? There used to be the show downtown, um, way, way back in the day, um, Speaker's Corner. So okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Here at downtown, we have a segment, Downtown Speaker. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be related to anything. It's your time, your your mic, everything on Sean, Downtown Speaker, it's yours. Whatever you want to say <laughs> that you just want to get off your chest. <laughs> oh, oh, it's one of those. Um. When, when is this airing? Is this, is this, is this, like, yeah. When, 48 when is, hours? Oh, okay. 40 what day is today? Wednesday? Friday? Friday. Timing is important, so you know when it's going to come out. So whatever you want to say, you can make it timely if you hey, want. So. Hey, yo. Yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Listen. I got a new joint. I got a new joint right now. It's mm. called Whoa. Streaming everywhere. I need everybody who watches this beautiful show with k i need y'all to go and stream it i need y'all to follow me on any of the streaming platforms where you listen to that music the video we shot the video yesterday okay. i'm excited to see that it's a we go, k, let me tell you we go, i'm picturing just ass it's a very interesting approach i tell you very interesting a lot of artists out here, I would say, are not really doing really, you know, clear. You're, you're showing the love for the videos, and I appreciate you know, I'm, that. Yeah, we're doing different things, man. It's not just me and in a, in a, in a the team, one. like the quality yeah. is there. Yeah, we do, we going in. So watch out for that video, Woj, go on my YouTube when it drops, share it, add, add the song to your playlist, hit up your DJs when you're out, ask, hit up the radio stations, keep hitting up Flow Vibe and all these places, let them know Woj is out and you want to hear Woj. I appreciate everybody. I also got a merch line out, everythingocean.com. Go there, cop yourself some hoodies. Look, I'm rocking a hoodie right now. Cop yourself some t-shirts, some tank tops for the ladies. 
go online, everythingoshawn.com. Follow me on Instagram. I'm, I'm, listen, if you're sleeping on me, put on Woj. Wake up. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Wake, wake up, Mr. Wet. Wake, wake, wake up. Let them know that we not, just, just, this enough, enough. We on fire right now. We really are. And, and this people, there's different people that hit me up and say, oh my God, I hope I'm not too late to like, you got, you're incredible. I can't believe I'm Listen, it's not too late. Don't worry about when you join. Don't worry about if you just heard worldwide or you just heard Wildin or whatever. Yeah. Who cares? All of my just, is just, right. all of my, just Love my track. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just hop. <laughs> Just, just hop on the train right now. Yeah. Hold me down. Let them know. It's not yeah. just, you know what I mean? We here, baby. Do you, have a, now, do you have a uh, name for your collective yet? My, oh, oh, like my your name. fan base? It's just the real ones, man. That's it. That's it. You got to call them like the waves or something. <laughs> <laughs> the water wheels. Water wheels. We got all the water wheels. Anybody right? that supports me, I appreciate it. Oh, y'all. Um, yeah. Shout out, especially shout out people like Hustle, uh, Hustle Girl, man. I just want to shout out Hustle Girl. Yeah. She's been supporting me in a major shout way. Shout out to Hustle Girl. I, I appreciate you so much, Queen. Thank you so much for believing in me. Um, and yeah, and anybody else who, 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 who does so, Smarties at Vibe, Ricochet at Flow, Four Corners, Raptors DJ. Y'all holding me down, and I appreciate all of y'all. But I still need more of y'all, man. Don't yeah. sleep on your boy, man. Seriously. Seriously, we got the DJ packs for everything. Don't worry. Woj out now, baby. Let's go. So everyone, you heard it here. Um, everything O'Shawn, DJ XP in the building today. <laughs> today they chose not to waste any time with negativity. We definitely had a beautiful conversation about music. And you guys continue to support these kings. And let's just win, period. All day. No matter what. <laughs> No matter what, thank you for having me, Kay. I appreciate it. So glad we got to talk. No problem. I love, I love what you're doing with your show and your platform. We need we need more of these. And a queen thank like you. you, a black queen doing this, thank like you. I'm proud. I'm really proud of you. I'm really, yeah. I, I see a lot of media outlets and and journalists and 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 you know certain parts well, of music. No duplication over here. <laughs> yeah, they'll start, they'll start something and for a few months and then, you know, you don't hear from them again or they don't update their shit. Even artists too, you put out one or two songs uh, throughout the year and then they disappear again. And you know what I mean? It's hard to be consistent. It's yes. hard to keep pushing. It's hard to keep every day, every week, every month, put out content. But the people who are truly going to win and the people that I respect is, mm -hmm. are people that continue to do it yeah. no matter fucking what. So yeah. I, that's why I connect with you so heavy. I see what you're doing. You keep Thank doing you. it. And I want you to win just as badly as I want to win too. I need everybody who's working hard to win. So truly I'm appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to support you. Keep supporting me. And I appreciate and love everything you're doing. Yes, this will not be the last time. We're definitely like, you know, y'all can invite me to the stew, you oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll invite you to a video shoot too. What do you mean? I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm outside, but not outside. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm like... outside. <laughs> hey, you know, you I'm come pull up. Come selective pull up. outside. Yeah, selective outside. Yeah. I feel you. Like, I feel you on that. <laughs> but um, you know, I want to say as as I said, thank you to everyone. Make sure this interview will be dropped and support this king. We know where to stream it at Apple, Spotify, yes. title, all the ting them. Or Sean Crew, Wato if. Watch the